Today you can catch William Smush Parker running point for the Lakers and living a life of a baller. But it was a hell of a long road from the block in NYC to the Staples Center. Smush gave Hoops TV the whole story. What's up guys? Smush Parker from the Los Angeles Lakers. Why don't you come hang out with me for a while? I've been in LA since the start of the season. Oh, I love this weather. Look at this. The end of January, and short sleeves and some shorts. Does it get any better than this? The CLS 500, Mercedes Benz, not even mine. They gave me a loaner until the Smushka Lake is out the shop. I learned the game even before I was born. You know, my dad played and my mom played. When I was just in her womb, I was hearing the ball, the beat of the ball, so it was pumping in my blood. When I was a baby, my dad you know, put the ball in my crib before I went out and tried to dribble between my legs and do a reverse layup. You know, I was taught the basics and the fundamentals. The most famous basketball court I played in would have to be you know, West 4th Street, the cage. I grew up on that court. I have baby pictures of me crawling on a basketball court even before I could even hold a basketball. That cage was my crib. As you can see, you know, we standing in front of the world famous Chuck Taylor's Barbershop. About to get a shape up from my man Chuck Taylor inside. You know, down here in Culver City, LA. Come on in and join me. I took the long road to get where I'm at now. One year high school basketball, one year junior college basketball, one year Fordham D1 basketball, one year at Cleveland when undrafted. Very next year I was in the CBA for a little bit. Left there and went playing Greece for a year. Was picked up by the Detroit Pistons, played half the season with them. Played for the Phoenix Suns for a little bit. Now I'm here starting for the Los Angeles Lakers. D1 college basketball for me, you know, was real exciting. Getting a chance to play at home, family and friends being able to come and watch me play. Getting the notoriety that I needed to push for an NBA career. My rookie year in Cleveland was an interesting year for me. You know, I quickly learned that the NBA is a man's game, not a child's game. Playing in Greece was one of the best experiences of my life. I love Greece, you know. I plan on actually going back for vacation this summer. Swish got his mind on his part right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if that good. part is just straight, you know, it just ruins it just ruins my week, man. I gotta wait till the hair grows back in oh, to yeah, fix yeah. it. But as you can see, <laughs> part is crispy. This part is gonna go even with that number one right there. I'm not satisfied yet, still hungry. I got my foot and just just need to, you know, shut the door behind me. I describe my game as versatile, what you call a combo guard. I do have some old school tendencies in my game as well as new school. Old school comes from my dad and growing up, you know, watching him and his, his friends play. And the new school, you know, you got the M1 mixtape dribble between the legs behind your back, alley-oop pass behind your back. I could do a little bit of both, you know. I got the best of both worlds. It's locked. The Clippers must have did this. This is how we did it in New York City. We just climbed the fence. You know, I have two names. The name Smush was given to me by my mother when I was a baby. You know, I don't even consider it a, a nickname anymore. That's my name. And as far as the Grim Reaper is concerned, I have the Grim Reaper tatted on my arm. Of course, people see the Grim Reaper, they think of death, but I see it as he's a silent assassin. That's what I go by when I step on the court, you know, I'm a silent assassin, I don't run my mouth too much. I'm gonna bring my A game in it. It's, you know, I'm just gonna go out there and uh, kill him. This top tattoo right here, it's a, it's a crown with my mother's name in it, Royal. You know, uh, she passed when I was nine. You know, her name was Robin Royal. Then I have this quote right here given to me by my dad, do or get done out there on a the basketball court, play a game or somebody's gonna, you know, shine against you. I got this basketball guy dunking a ball. I can fly a little bit. I can dunk a little bit. You know, I, th I think I can. This smush tattoo right here in the middle was my first tattoo. Then I have the Black Panther, of course, you know, the outline, you know, trying to be different. Everybody gets the panther colored in. I just got the outline. Out there on the court, I'm the predator and you're the prey and I'm, I'm gonna just stalk you the whole game. All these tattoos have certain meanings to me. The tournaments I do play in, going back home to NYC, Hunter College, it's a program, you know, a lot of pros, collegiate guys, high level. But the best of the best play there. Best of NYC play in this tournament. And only the best can play in this tournament. 
I could go out there and work on my game, and uh, I don't. You can't get that in every tournament you're playing. Orchard Beach, hoops in the sun. You know, you gotta check that tournament out if you're ever in New York City. When I go back home to NYC, you know, I definitely get love from my friends and family. You know, on the success I've had playing this game of basketball. They appreciate the road that I've taken and the determination and the drive and the hard work I've definitely put in to get where I'm at now because they know the trials and tribulations that I've been through. On the other hand, there are some haters everywhere you go. I definitely feel the love and the hate when I go back home. Because of the long season, 82 game season, six months, five months, uh, don't get a chance to spend a lot of time. I see my family a lot, so it's always a great, great feeling to get back home to NYC and, you know, uh, hang out with them for a little bit. Well, Hoops TV, you hung out with Smush Parker from the Los Angeles Lakers. See me get my hair cut, talked about my ride, tried to show you my sweet stroke. You know, but, you know, the, unfortunately the gate was locked. But until next time, see you later. And the famous words of Don Cornelius, peace, love, and hair grease.